Hello YouTube, welcome back to the party. So for the next few minutes, we have the change of usernames and passwords, task 1, and the make of new user accounts, task 2, by using computer management and Windows 11. Computer management is an extremely powerful tool. One of my preferred options for user account creation and manipulation, in fact, and so by logging into this computer with a username of PC and a password of password123, that is with a capital P, we will definitely explore this snap in further. So we are now logged into the user called PC. Note that you should always consider unencrypting and backing up your data first. Encryption keys are lost with password changes and mistakes can stop you from logging back into your user account. We can now locate computer management by selecting search and typing computer. Computer management will appear at the top of the list and we can pin this to the taskbar to make our future workload just that much easier. With this out of the way, let's go ahead and open computer management. And in a moment or two, the computer will load the snap in and this will then load the computer management window. To change PC's username and password for task one, locate local users and groups, and once there, we can then click on users. Note the previous user account that already exists on this computer, and note that the user account PC is the only account without a arrow pointing down. Right click on the PC user account, and we can select properties, where we can then input more information about the user. Information such as their full name and various different other appropriate user details. You can also note which group the user account is assigned to. In this case, the default is administrators. Also, feel free to take note of the various passwords options available to us. And once you're happy, we can then press apply. For task one, we can now change the account name. We do this by right clicking PC and then selecting rename. We can now input a new username for the account, and in this case, we shall call it the administrator. And we can go ahead and change the password. Note the warning about the encryption issue will pop up here, so please make sure that you take that to heart. We will change the password to password123. That will be with a capital P, and we're going to replace the A with an at sign. Confirm the password and then press OK. The username and password for this user account is now being created and all that is left to do is to sign out of this account and then to sign back in with the new user credentials. And after a successful sign in, we'll be back at our desktop and task one user account modification is now complete. We can now move on to task two where we'll create a new user account in computer management. Open user and groups again, click on users, and we can now create the user by right clicking in an open space and select new user. Provide a username, in this case we'll call it the user. Any additional bits of information you wish to add here, go ahead and do that as well. And once we're done here, we can then set the user account password. In this case, we'll call it password with a capital P. Confirm the password and explore the various different password options that are available to this account. And once you're happy, we can then click on create. With the bulk of this task two done, we will then cover the assignments of user account membership. Right click the user and go to properties. And then members of. And note the default member is user, where in task one, this was administrators. Select add, click advanced, and click on find now to bring up a list of members that can be applied to this user account. Please note that the user is at the bottom of the actual list and administrators is towards the top of the list. We can go ahead and select administrators. So this user is now a member of administrators and users. We can now remove users from the group by selecting it and clicking on the remove button. Note that the users group is now gone. We can now click apply and OK and we can go ahead and sign out. And once back at the login screen, sign in with our new user credentials for the new user account we just created and we can sign back in with that new user. With a successful login, the user is prompted to change their password. This is due to the setting the user must change the password login option that we chose earlier. 
We can go ahead and set the new password. The password will be password123 with a capital P and we'll replace the A with an at symbol and then sign in. At this point, the user profile is now created and the user will be prompted for any additional information that Windows may require. Complete this information and the desktop will be displayed. And congratulations, task two is now complete. Thank you, YouTube. I hope you found this video constructive. Please feel free to leave a comment if you like anything that you see here. And please feel free to subscribe and I shall see you all again soon.